today what i have planned is first we will just uh, see how to get the random uh, sampling when you want to do just uh, analyze the data where we have millions of rows just if you want to sample only thousands or something like how to get the random data then apart from that uh, we will also just see how to make this kpi indicator uh, year over year sales whether it's increasing or declining at last like i have one surprise for you guys so let's quickly get started with the first one random one uh, so any idea or start like how to get uh, the random data for some what's your thoughts Uh, i don't know about tableau but uh, in other software we usually have some kind of a function which uh, by which we can assign a random number and we can specify the number of samples uh, i don't know how it works okay. in tableau though maybe in tableau we will have in rand right what 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 function rand i mean is there any function in rand no okay that's an excel function actually <laughs> <laughs> in excel there are rand and rand between yeah okay so quickly so uh, let me pull uh, the order ready into rows and uh, sales so now we got like almost all order ready create calculated speed Though Tableau officially don't have the random function, unofficially they do have the random function. So fix order ID. Run. So yeah, if you search in like text here, we will get almost not almost all the functions which are there in Tableau. but here uh, if you type random we don't get and people say it's still not official function tableau but still i don't know how uh, just if we type uh, fix order if you know, we want like random number at an order ready level here we are using average because lod is we uh, aggregate that's the syntax for lod so let me pull the random so it's showing zero and one because of rounding of uh, decimal place so we will just convert it format number plus and it will be the decimal place okay yeah. so next uh, to just now we got the random numbers just to sample like we want only 100 Rows are like thousand rows. How to do that next? So next we will just go create the alphabet to uh, a rank. So just we will uh, rank the order ready based on the random number which we have written. So rank me, rank me, uh, then random. Okay. Yeah, anyway, here it doesn't matter whether it's uh, aggregate or disaggregate because uh, each row is like a record. And it's more granular, so some more average doesn't matter. Here. So now we just got the rank based on the random number. Now we will just create a parameter to control. Parameter integer. Currently, I think it, that is like five thousand hard readings, five thousand eight thousand. Match me, we need five thousand eight. Step six is one.
create calculate की लगे तो ये rank था which is less than or equal to the parameter which we created rank parameter then true so in this case just if you want only 500 rows uh, we can select in parameter and that will reflect in this like So how many uh, number of rows if you want? Just we can control it. We no need to show this uh, random method only to detect. Okay. And if you want track, either if you want, want this, we can remove that as well. So this is the first one I have for you guys. Next, uh, any doubts in this? I shall move on to the next. Hey, one quick question, uh, Jera. Yeah. See, if you just uh, take. Uh, let's say it's sales you know which has or even for that matter uh, rank are the second field yeah. right and you uh, just copy the same field a second time okay uh, and what what are the numbers the first one versus the second one i'm just trying to understand is it generating random numbers just once or does it random when is it calculating that's what i'm trying to understand can okay. you just copy sales a couple second time sir did i can you repeat Yeah, no, the same field, right? Yeah. So, for example, sales, right? Yeah. I want to see the sales again a second time, you know. So okay. just copy that, and we'll we'll see whether uh, the numbers will be same or will they be different. I think it did not copy right now; it just moved it. <laughs> You mean the number in the sense rank or sales? No sales. You know, if sales changes, then rank automatically changes, right? Or maybe the yeah. sales doesn't rank change. Uh, sorry, rank. The right? random number. Hmm. Yeah. Rank is based on the random number, like which your tab you are searching. Okay, got it. So though and it, it is not dependent. Huh. Yeah. No, are you in a position to just copy the same field? That's what I'm trying to understand. Uh, is that possible? Yeah, copying the same field is fast. You copy the field, na? Like uh... no, same field, same field. You can't put twice in master or else our master name. Maybe what you can do is the same field. You can write like a calculated field. For example, if you pull some cells again, just to create a calculated field in name of some cells, and if you pull it to column, okay, you can have multiple fields. Yeah. Oh. Do you know what this means? <coughs> so, do you know what this means? What this means is that the random number got generated once, and it is staying constant at this point in time. Uh, no, sales are like uh, field that we get from database. Database. Uh, ran, oh. uh, uh, I mean, Jairam, can you try with the random? Oh. Yeah. So sales. Okay. So, for example, I am. Creating one more field random to okay. Let's see how it goes. Step. No, it's different. It's showing different for different. So, for example, this random is the first function, first field which I created, and this is the second one. Okay. Though calculation calculate will remain same, but these are different. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, random two, you're not able to copy paste a second time. That's not possible. Ah, uh, that's possible. Again, create calculate field. Just okay. Type in random two. Huh. 
Again here are no. the showing different number. It's yeah. showing different number. So different, I think yeah, every yeah. time you pull it, I think it's recalculating. That's what it means. Yeah. So is there a way in Tableau to recalculate? So for example, we are in this situation. We can yeah. do refresh, right? That's what you can do. Yeah. F five or something, right? Uh. I am not sure about the shortcut, but I can go okay. to data source and refresh. Okay. Got it. Perfect. I think then it should be able to. Okay. Super. Got it. So just oh. for your information, just to draw a parallel between uh, Excel and this one, um, in Excel they have uh, like we discussed a rand and rand between, and every time let's say you want to see a new scenario, uh, then you can just hit F9. If you hit F9, the entire sheet will be recalculated, and it will also generate new random numbers. Okay, for example, this could be useful when you are doing a Monte Carlo simulation. For example, if you want to verify, you guys know Monte Carlo simulation, so you can you can actually generate a scenarios of let's say ten thousand or maybe more um, uh, scenarios. And uh, what you can do is, and then you can check what the results are. So every time you hit F nine, you are actually seeing fresh ten thousand cases of uh, simulation. You can check it out. Okay. And I think also similar to this, when we copy paste the cell with the random uh, rand function in Excel, then also the num random number changes. Every time you copy paste or make any change in uh, any cell, hmm. yes, Excel yes. actually recalculates all the numbers. So to that extent, I think if you have rand or uh, any other variable like now, for example, those also will get recalculated. Yeah. So, for example, now with the time, including the seconds, for example, if you take a look at it, then if you use that, then the now will calculate again as of you know the immediate moment. Okay, Jera, okay, please go ahead. Uh, 